target locked. Welcome to a challenge, it's called Best of the Rest. It's a brand new series with an ultimate test. You take the only player in the game that rep in his nation. You drop him in the squad and take him to the top of the table. One, two, three, four, five. What's up, boys, and welcome to Best of the Rest, epi number four, the Super Sri Lankan, the first ever Sri Lankan player in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, we are looking at none other than Ahmed Wasim Razik. If you guys are familiar with the German third league, you would know who he is. Uh, and even then, he's a little bit of a mysterious player. Three star, three star. We're gonna look at his stats in a second, but he is interesting because he did have himself a German card in FIFA 14 and FIFA 15, uh, and then for whatever reason, he's never represented Sri Lanka at the national stage level, but for whatever reason, EA have given him Sri Lankan nationality in FIFA 18. Now, I guess that leads me to a pretty logical question of the episode. If you guys are from Sri Lanka, if you guys are from that subcontinent area, do you know why, or if you're familiar with uh, Liga 3 in Germany, do you know why he has been given Sri Lankan nationality instead of German, which is what he had in 14 and 15, because he is of immigrant parents coming from Sri Lanka and was actually born in, uh, in Berlin. So he's got 66 career starts in real life with 10 goals, so he's not a clinical goal scorer. We're gonna hope for him to maybe improve on that rate uh, in this episode. Yeah, if we're looking at the table right now, we've got Kyrgyzstan sitting pretty up top at 22 points. We've got Hong Kong with 16 points, and then of course, Bernay. Uh, it's literally got an order. Episodia 3 was Kyrgyzstan, Hong Kong was 2, and then we started off with Fike Volkia, who kicked things off with 15. Now today, uh, like I said, we're gonna be doing it on Ahmed uh, Wasim Razik. The best stats that we've had so far, he's got the most pace of any player that we've used, he's got the best finishing at 54, and then he's also got a decent bit of agility with 78 and 80, and then 64 stamina, not a whole lot of strength. Let's take a look at his height. He's 5'10", like I said, with 3-star, three 3-star, three and we have placed him in a La Liga 3 hybrid with some other German players. We took out that uh, foot birthday uh, Schweinsteiger so we can improve our defense a little bit. We've got the form, we've got the likes of 88 Boateng and then 89 Hummels. We've got White Walker, Diekmeier, we've got Brzezinski, and then uh, we've got Horn in net, and then we've got some of the other players that we had. None more none more popular in episode number three than uh, Sasha Belgalki, who was episode number three, represents... Wait, what? No, he was not. Who was it? What am I talking about? It was Lux. Okay, Lux had himself a pretty nice outing with six goals scored in two matches and one assist uh, with a 58 rated striker. We're going to see if we can do a little bit better uh, with Razik. Obviously, we're trying to w uh, go into th the top of the table with every time we play. Four star, four star for Galki was incredible. Like I said, his rate was six assists and two goals in two matches played. So eight goal contributions and then using 87 Leroy Sané as uh, as one of the players to squeak in. Only went for 50k. Again, the budget has to be 2, 000, uh, 200,000 coins and you guys know the, the the idea of best of the rest is to use the only player representing their nation in Ultimate Team. We've got a bunch of other nations that you guys will see. We will complete the series, I promise, before the start of FIFA 19. But if you guys are enjoying best of the rest, smash that like button. Let's try and crush 2,000 likes for another best of the rest epi on uh, on episode number five, which I believe we will be using uh, the first ever... Wherever Kuyar, I believe this one's Afghanistan. Yeah, the first ever Afghanistan player will be interesting to use, but if you guys do want to see one, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. If you guys do want to interact with me on Instagram and Twitter, those links can be found in the description below. But we've done the intro in one take, surprisingly. Let's get to match number one. Let's see if we can kick things off, maybe with a man of the match, maybe with a hat-trick performance with Ahmed Wasim Razi. Match number one, and he's got a squad full of footy noms, none of which I'm pretty sure have won it. Right, the highest rated would be... Alexander, I believe, had an 86 as well, but 86, David Luiz. The one that I, that's the one that I really wish we could have gotten. An 80, uh, whatever it would have been, like maybe an 89, 90 CDM David Luiz card would have been absolutely epic. But alas, we did not get it. Can we do it right here? Come on! Ref, come on! We get our pen! We get a cheeky pen! Matip fouls our boy uh, Razik. Let's see, was it a harsh challenge? Yeah, that's an easy... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how easy of a challenge that was. They give it to him most off the bat. Uh, hopefully we have a choice of giving to Razik. 49 pen, my god. And then we're just gonna... We're gonna deliver it bottom right. Please, please, please! This would be three points and let's go! Ahmed Wasim Razik, the first Sri Lankan player, and he is going to do the... Uh, I don't even, I forget what it's called, but anyway, Razik gets on the board. We are at three points already with four, uh, with not even five minutes into the match, and he scores himself just a delicious 
cheeky little pen his keeper didn't even choose the right side. Let's go. That ball control though. I don't know what his ball control rating is, but obviously 60 rated, so it's not gonna be great. Let's go. Boat taking on Mbappe, bro. Let's go. If you don't know about Deco, find out who wants to come. Oh my god, Sri Lanka. Come on, dude. If you're from Sri Lanka, go crazy in the comments, bro. That, that's half the fun I have with these uh, with these epis is, is the guys from, you know, I don't want to say off nations. Sri Lanka actually a nation of 21 million people and he can't for the life of him score. A nation of 21 million people. And there's one player in Ultimate Team from Sri Lanka, but there's a billion people from India. And I believe there's just a keeper. There might not even be a keeper. I know there was an Indian keeper in last, uh, in last year in, uh, in FIFA 17. But how does... I, I still don't know how India don't have one player in Ultimate Team. I know, like, cricket and... Um, cricket and tennis are the big sports in India. Football, obviously, though, I mean, like, there's a pretty vibrant league, isn't there? Which would be sick if we actually got it. There's a, a few icons, few legends that are managing uh, a couple of the clubs in the uh, in the Indian Premier League. But can we please get that league in FIFA? That would be so sick. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh. Apparently Sri Lanka has a space program because he's sending these balls into orbit. I didn't even press anything. Bro, I didn't even press anything and Sané just scored that. Alright, 2-0, 25th minute, I'm not going to complain. Would have preferred that it was with Razik, he comes up for the hug with his bro. And uh, we are off and running, so as it stands right now, if this mat, if you were to rage quit right now, we would get four points, which obviously leaves us quite a long ways from the 22 needed to, to dethrone uh, Vitali, Vitali Lux. Same league as well. I think those are the only players that we have that are from the same league in best of the rest, unless I'm unless I'm mistaken, but I'm pretty sure I'm I'm saying that accurately. Oh, Claudio Bravo with a great little save. tuned in for the stream yesterday by the way massive massive things 17 subs on the day and really just really really incredible support on the twitch stream yesterday thank you guys and we are qualified we managed to qualify for uh, weekend league on the first attempt and i'm thinking about firing up the stream today and playing some weekend league so maybe hit that like button if you guys want to see that if this video does well enough i suppose i'll fire it up but uh we'll probably fire it up anyway to be honest with you but for whatever reason, I have this burning desire. I haven't played Weekend League in about five, I think maybe four or five months. And I have this burning desire to see what I could, like, what is my, how far have I come with, for not playing Weekend League? How far have I come? Do I have a squad that can compete? Can I maybe get 25 wins in Weekend League? So I think we're going to try that out. Maybe cheeky little experiment this weekend. Dude, what am I talking about, dude? I can't be talking about this stuff during Best of the Rest, bro. I'm using a 60 rated right forward and I'm trying to score goals. <laughs> dude, what is dude? So, the physics sometimes just—it's laughable. Wait, watch this. Rosinaldo. Like right here. Nope. Damn, he's just—he's just. It goes without saying. I mean, obviously, he's not a great card, but really, dude, really has let us down. Can we get one here? Come on! No! 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 We get three. Which is, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't know if that counts as an assist because it was off the post. But our boy Razik should get, so we get the win. So that would be three, uh, three points, uh, sorry, three points for the goal, one point for the win. And then if he does get man of the match, that would be another two. So it would be six points. Oh, man, that's actually really disappointing. I suppose it could be worse. Come on! That's been the theme of epi number one with uh, AWR. He doesn't have, dude, he can't finish. And dude, shockingly, he's, something, he's got something like 73 with the Hunter Chem style and he's just not able to. One more chance. One more chance and we can't do it. We just can't do it. We probably, we probably left at least two other goals on the table. I feel like we probably should have somewhere in the vicinity of 12 points, but we're only coming away with what looks like it's gonna be, with what looks like it's gonna be six. 
Desperation cross in. And then go for... <sighs> Rizzy! My god, the Marquisio lookalike, and he buries one. Look at that volley. Rizzy just absolutely belts one past Claudio Bravo. And it is going to be Rizzy. So I guess that makes sense, even though he had one goal, and Rizik had Lurisane. Lurisane had a goal and then two assists, and they don't give him out of the match. Interesting, okay. Um, 8.9, a goal, so that would be what? That's three, one for the win. Uh, so we come away with four points, which is really, really, really quite a letdown given how we actually dominated this guy. 25 shots, 16 on target, and he has just been absolutely dreadful. If there was a match that we could have been favored in, it would have been this one right here, just because we were lighting it, we were, we were lighting shots up left, right, and center on 16 shots on target. We managed to only put away four, which is shocking. I guess not shocking considering the players that we're using. Let's get into match number two. Let's see if we can crank this soldier boy up. So the second and final match is going to see us squaring up against the 87 Salah. He's gone with a Bundesliga Premier League hybrid. He's got the likes of Aubameyang 88. He's got Tolisso. He's got Kante. Didn't really splash out. Doesn't have some crazy players. He's got Lorius Carius. Imagine if we actually could convert one. So we'll do this. Send it back to him. Get finessies. No, dude. He came close. This is Sparta! In what world is that not a pen? Seriously, someone break down that footage for me. Maybe maybe tweet me and show me what in the game mechanics or, or what in a rule set would say that that is not a pen. Come on, finally 1-0. All right, sometimes that's what we need. So if it stands as it is, we get five points. We get three points for the goal. We get one point for that first win, and we get we would get one point for this second win. And sometimes that, that's what we need. Sometimes we need to score a goal in order for the game to open up a bit. Maybe, maybe if, if we pray hard enough to the Sri Lankan gods, I'm not sure what religion they practice there, but if we pray enough to the Sri Lankan gods, maybe something can happen. We have one more half to make up what's 22 minus, uh, 22 minus four is, well no, 22 minus five is uh, 17. I think he is, and no disrespect to Sri Lanka, but he could be the worst player in the game. With the sheer amount of chances, the fact that we've only scored one goal, bro, what is life? Come on, one for pride. Oh my god. Is it is it that we're just coming up against insane keepers, or is it the fact that Razik is just that bad? can do is laugh. I, Sri Lanka, I'm sorry. I tried. I tried to give you guys every bit of chance. There's 21 million of you guys out there. I tried with every, every fiber of my body and I had, I, I had as many chances as I would have, I, I had as many chances as I would have liked with, uh, with your boy Razik, but he is just literally that trash. All right, match number two is in the books. We do get the win, so that brings us up to a whopping total of five points. We finished ten shy of third place, Bernay. And we get absolutely, absolutely shot on, to be honest with you. I mean, like, one nil. But look at that. Nine shot six on target. We had some high-quality chances, but we were only able to manage one goal across two matches. Not even an assist. Not an assist. Not a man of the match. Not even a goal. And that is, unfortunately, going to conclude it for the Sri Lanka uh, portion of this epi. So as we thought, maybe, you know, Bernays in third place, Hong Kong's in second, Kyrgyzstan's in first. We thought maybe it's gonna go up that tier, but we finally hit that section where the guy is just not able to live up to it. So Razik, unfortunately, did not live up to the hype of Sri Lanka. We are moving on in the next episode, in episode number five, with uh, Kuyar, who is the first Afghanistan player in Ultimate Team. And then we'll be moving up to our rare players with uh, Salzar, and then it gets a little bit exciting when we head to Barbados with Forte. We've got ourselves a Krishna as well as a Ninga, who looks pretty decent for Chad. A Samata looks pretty solid as well. I think he's got some decent stats. Three star, three star, never mind. Uh, but uh, should get a little bit exciting here. But that is, like I said, going to conclude it for best of the rest, episode number four. 
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We're moving to a different league, different nation in episode number five. Really looking forward to that. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Update.